Good morning, and welcome to St. Mother Garen Parish. Today is the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time. As we come together and celebrate the Eucharist, let us turn to our neighbor and say hello. Hello. Today's celebrant is Father Paul, and our deacon is Deacon Roland. Our gathering song will be Gather Us In, found in your gather book, number 311, number 311. Please stand. vanished away. See in this space our fears and our dreamings brought here to you in the light of this day. Gather us in the lost and forsaken. Gather us in the blind and the lame. Call to us now and we shall awaken. We shall arise at the sound of our name. We are the young, our lives are a mystery. We are the old who yearn for your face. We have been sung throughout all of history, called to be light to the whole human race. Gather us in the rich and the haughty. Gather us in the proud and the strong. Give us a heart so meek and so lowly. Give us the courage to enter the song. Here we will take the wine and the water. Here we will take the bread of new birth. Here you shall call your sons and your daughters. Call us anew to be salt for the earth. Give us to drink the wine of compassion. Give us to eat the bread that is you. Nourish us well and teach us to fashion lives that are holy and hearts that are true. Not in the dark of buildings done fighting, not in some heaven light years away, but here in this place the new light is shining. Now is the kingdom, now is the day. Gather us in and hold us forever. Gather us in and make us your own. Gather us in, our peoples together. Fire of love in our flesh and our bones. Oh, good morning and happy Father's Day to all fathers today. And as we gather here in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We gather here in the Eucharist, giving thanks to God for all the blessing that he's bestowed upon us, especially on Father's Day. Let us pray for all fathers, living and deceased. Let us ask the Lord to be upon them for all their love, for all their sacrifice for the children. Let us also gather here and ask the Lord to strengthen us, help us always to be faithful to him in our lives. And we also acknowledge our fellows for the time we fail to love God and others. Lord Jesus, you plant the seed of your word in our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, your word will spring up like a majestic tree for the good of all. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you welcome all people into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. to 
people of goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father have mercy on us glory to god in the highest and on earth peace to people of the will glory to god in the highest Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you, mortal fealty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I, too, will take from the crust of the cedar, from its topmost branches, tear off a tender shoot, and plant it on a high and lofty mountain. On a mountain heights of Israel, I will plant it. It shall put forth branches and bear fruit, and become a majestic cedar. Birds of every kind shall dwell beneath it, every winged thing in the shade of its boughs. And all the trees of the field shall know that I, the Lord, bring low the high tree, lift high the lowly tree, wither up the green tree, and make the withered tree bloom. As I, the Lord, have spoken, so will I do. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are always courageous. Although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous. And we would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Therefore, we aspire to please him, whether we are at home or away. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each may receive recompense according to what he did in the body, whether good or evil. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day. And through it all, the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that when it is sown in the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of the plants and put forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. It was amazing today, before we began our Mass, 
I have spoken and seen fathers walking at the door with their children on their hands. It's a very typical image, imagery. And Jesus teaches us using images and metaphors. What I've seen today is a reality of what Father's Day is all about. To see them bring their children walk hand in hand to the church. And you know who you are. Because I've seen you. Anyway, there is more in the scripture that can reflect on the role of fathers to their children. And that started really at the baptism of your children. In baptism, the seed of faith has been sown into the heart of our child or children to be baptized. The seed of the word of God has also been a part of the baptismal rite because the minister who does the baptism will bless the mouth of the child and the ears so that perhaps someday they can be up here on the ambush to proclaim the good news themselves. Or maybe they just be sitting there listening to the word of God. See, it's related to baptism. You first, we, we plant the seed of faith, the seed of the word of God into our children so that they will become Award for parents someday. Now, St. Paul's letter to the Corinthian talks about two things. While you are in your body, you are away from the Lord. That's true. Doing awake service. While we are in our body, we are away from the Lord. But for the cadaver, for the dead person, he no longer is there. He is now away from his body, but he's going home with the Lord. One. The second one. We can still be with the Lord in our mortal bodies by doing what has been received by parents and godparents in baptism. Teach your children the ways of the Lord, the sacraments, the commandments, all the good things. Now I saw them today. When I spoke to fathers who walk in the church with a child in their hand, bringing them to church, I really encourage this in baptismal prep when I do that. Bring your children to church so that they can learn what they see and what they learn on how we pray how Catholics worship. And that's like the foundation is deeper into the hearts of your children to know more about the Lord God. Bring them. Show them. That's a very good example. And I'm really reflecting also on the message of the responsorial psalm that we must thank the Lord why? Because if you do this to your children, someday they will flourish like the cedar tree, like the mustard seed that 
even though when they were very small, maybe as tiny as a mustard seed, when it is sown in them, the seed of faith and the seed of the word of God, it like room, it blooms so big that they could welcome the winged creatures to come and live with them. I would like to invite you today to go with me under the mustard tree or the cedar tree. If indeed that is a huge tree, wouldn't we benefit if we stay under the tree while their leaves fan us in comfort in this scorching day and gives us oxygen that we need so much? See, there's a lot of things to thank the Lord God. The scripture and how he put it, the paint, the picture in it. You could see it, that even though they say, we walk by faith, but not by sight. So, as we go through, I would encourage you, Keep bringing your children to church so they could know and learn what Catholic faith is all about. And in the long run, as St. Paul says to the Corinthians, that on the last day, the sower will come with a sickle. Why, it's harvest time. Are we that productive? Are there any fruits to share? Are there anything good? But in that earthen vessel that we are, we cap or we build a life that is the treasure of this earthen vessel, our own body, whether it's good or bad. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. To Him all things were made. For us, man, for our salvation, he came, he came down, down from heaven. heaven. By, the, by Holy the Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnated the Virgin Mary, and Mary and became man. For, for our, our sake, sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death, death and was, was buried. And rose again on the third, on the third day, day, in accordance, accordance with, the with the Scripture. He ascended, he ascended into heaven, heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will, he will come, come again, again in glory, glory to turn to the living and the, the living dead, and, the dead. and his kingdom will have no end. I, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, Lord the Lord, the giver, the giver of life, life who, who proceeds from, from, the from the Father and the Son, who with who the, the Father and the Son, Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken, spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, then I look forward to the resurrection of it. The life of the world to come. Amen. So with trust in our merciful God, we offer him these petitions. That our Holy Mother Church may continue to receive the help of Christ in using her prophetic voice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all people may come to know that Jesus is Lord of heaven and earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who grow, prepare, and serve our food may be blessed abundantly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the seeds of faith planted in our hearts at baptism, may continue to flourish and grow towards spiritual maturity. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all fathers, grandfathers, stepfathers, and father-like figures in our lives, may God bless them abundantly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially those listed in our bulletin. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Rosa, Versilio, Joe Castronovo, John Meyer, Mary Giddy O'Malley, Linda Strange Wynn. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions for which this Mass is offered for Roman and Anna Romaniak, Elena Golab, Josefa Pabrasek, Frank and Mary Krasek, Kerry Schick, Jesus Cubarubias, Anthony Del Santo, Siriaco Fernandez birthday, Bernie Lim, Joe Gu, Peter Eck, Mary Giddy O'Malley, Henry and Helena Novak, Anthony Santiago, all fathers living and deceased, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold, in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, is spoken and unspoken. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, hear the prayers of your people and answer them in your goodness. Help us always to be faithful to your Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The second collection today for our Paris Capital Improvement. Thank you for your generosity. The presentation song is Seed, Scattered, and Sown, which can be found in your gather book, number 348. sharing in our Lord is not the cup we bless the blood of Christ our Lord seed scattered and sown we gathered and grown bread broken and shared as one the living bread of God fine fruit of the land wine work of our Of our hands. 
Jesus. I pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the untwofold need of a human nature, nourishing us with food and renew us with your sacrament, grant we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changings of ties and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder. To ruin your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. To Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop, all the clergy, and for all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ give me safe for eternal life. For those participating in today's liturgy via live stream, please bow your heads as I read the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. This bread, this wine, can be found in your Garen Songbook, number 43. This bread will become Christ's body. Take and eat, we will take and drink of the body of 
let us pray. That this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. The announcement. Episode 3 from Season 1 of The Chosen will be shown on Tuesday, June 18th at 8.30 a.m. in the Rectory at St. Cyprian's. Episode 5 from Season 4 of The Chosen will be shown on Wednesday, June 19th at 6.30 p.m. in the Fireside Room. Sign up by Thursday for the Monday, June 24th golf outing. Sign up online, use the form in the bulletin, or in the Pastoral Center. Not a golfer? Sign up to attend the dinner and raffle. Many nice prizes will be available. There is still time to sign up your children for a Totus Tuus Summer Youth Camp. Drop off your forms with payment to the Pastoral Center by July 5th. All right, thank you. And we need a, uh, more golfers. If you are a golfer, so we encourage you or you know someone, please introduce them to our golf outing. It's coming uh, next uh, Monday, the 20, I believe, in June 24th. So please uh, invite, uh, or if you are a golfer, please uh, consider to, uh, to play golf uh, to, to help us for our big fundraising for us. And also, uh, the Torah Tourist is coming up as well. We call it this like a children's school Bible. And it's our third uh, years already, and uh, normally the kids really enjoyed it from the first grade to high school. So during the day, from first grade to fifth grade during the day, and from sixth to high school, to uh, the 12 during the evening. Some people told me, like, I like to my, send my children because like kind of the free babysitting. So if you... And I know it's charged a little bit, but I'm sure it's way cheaper than baby cedar, right? So, so that's a great way to see, so to, to, to see it. So if you want to send, you haven't been registered, maybe send your kit, register to the kit for the tourist tours. And if you walk in today, in the dry side, on my, your right hand side, we see a little garden we call Memorial Garden. And it's already have a few, at least 20, 30, People already have their stone for their loved one, and that we want to create that garden for the atmosphere to pray for all our loved ones. If you would like to have your loved one, you can contact the pastor center. And after the mass, please join me to bless. I will bless the memorial garden. It's beautiful. If you haven't seen it, maybe you can take a look or join me after the mass. Right after mass, I will walk outside there and we will bless the memorial garden. So thank you, Ray and Paulette. They're the ones who have that ideas and they put a lot of effort to make that beautiful garden. So please thank you for all your dedication, for your love, for your doing that. And today also Father's Day, so I would like to invite all the fathers, please come into the sanctuaries, come up here so we can give you, recognize you, and thank for all your sacrifice, all your love to your children, so please come up here, we will give you a blessing. Please come here and turn to the congregation. A lot of fathers today, thank you for your sacrifice, for your dedication, for your good model faith to your children. That's why we want to see all your face, okay? So I can check who's missing every Sunday Mass, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can come up there, Skip. <laughs> all right, I can ask everyone, please extend your right hand, and I ask everyone, all the fathers, please bow your head, and we... Ask the Lord for the blessing. God, our Father, we give you thanks and praise for fathers, young and old. We pray for young fathers newly embracing their vocation. May they find the courage and perseverance to balance work, family, and faith in joy and sacrifice. We pray for our own fathers who have supported and challenged us. May they continue to lead in strong and gentle ways. We remember fathers around the world whose children are lost or suffering. May they know that the God of compassion 
walks with them in their sorrow. We pray for men who are not fathers but still mentor and guide us with fatherly love and advice. And we remember fathers, grandfather, great grandfather who are no longer with us but who live forever in our memory and nourish us with their love. And we thank you for all their sacrifice and we ask you to send a blessing upon this man. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon all the fathers and remain with them forever. Amen. Amen. They need a lot of holy water. <laughs> Let us give the big of law one more time. Congratulations. You can go back. Thank you. The work of your hands. Thank you very much. Mold us. Mold us and fashion us into the image of Jesus, your son. Of Jesus, your son. Please stand. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our closing song is Sing a New Song, which can be found in your journey book, number 598. sorrow to joy and fear.